Hi everyone, so today we're going to make a new little game and we're doing it in Scratch again. So today we're going to play with the background a bit more. So we're going to look at the stage and how we can integrate that into the game more than maybe the previous videos have. So we're going to start by editing our stage. And we're going to start with a black square, so let's just fill it. And we'll make it black, so we can't see anything else. Then we're going to draw over it, sort of like a maze or a cave, however you want to think of it. So we're going to use a paintbrush. Let's make the paintbrush a bit bigger, so it's easier for us to do. And obviously we don't want it black, we want it a different colour. So let's say we pick the... Let's go with a really light green. Um, we're going to draw in it a course or a maze for it to go through. And then when you have drawn it, you're going to need to colour it in and fill it in. Obviously, if you make a mistake and you go over the line a bit further than you wanted, you can always let go and click on undo. Or you can just carry on and include it as part of your game. It's not the end of the world, I guess. So I nearly coloured mine in. Okay, all coloured in. So that's our new stage or our backdrop that we've got there. Now we want to change this cat. So the cat that we've got, we actually want to do something else with it. So I'm going to delete it for now, put a new one in. And actually in Scratch you've got this flying cat. And if you go to costumes, it's actually got two versions. So it's sort of like a flying up and a flying across. I'm going to use the flying across one for now. And I'll just move in and I might actually make him a little bit smaller. Okay. So from here, with this particular sprite, I'm going to make a copy of it. So now I've a right click and I do duplicate. We've now got two of that flying across one. This second one, I'm going to rename it Cat Crash. And then I'm going to edit it. So again, I'm going to use this paintbrush, make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to change the colours. So we'll do the red dots. And a few orangey yellow dots. And if we can get a better orange, I'll do. A few orange dots as well. Okay, so I've got so I've got a normal flame one, and I've got my one where hopefully it'll look like he's crashed into the wall a little bit, and I've renamed him Cat Crash just to make it a bit easier. So I'm gonna go back to our original one. So I've clicked it here, and then I'm gonna go to code. I'm going to add some code in now. So we'll go with when green flag clicked, we're going to switch costume and I'm just going to check it was called Cat Flying A. So I'm going to change that to Cat Flying A. Then forever, and we also need an if inside that forever. So forever we want it to be moving, so we're going to make it move, and I'm going to change that to reset. And then if, we need some sensing in here, so if it switches. I'm going to change that colour in here, you've got like an ink uh, blaster or what the actual name is, you know what I mean. So you can click it and you can actually select the colour, so I really want that black there. Then inside the if, so if it does touch that black, we want it to switch costume. 
and we want it to go to cut crack. Then back to the left. We'll get you up there. So if we run it to double check I've done it right, to double check our code works, it's really good practice for everyone. So we run it, I let it move. Brilliant. It touches the side, it crashes. Maybe could do with being a tiny bit smaller. So I might go with 75. Move it back. Go back, select my old costume. Okay, so now it moves, it hits the side, it changes. What we can do now is we can actually make it a little bit more like a game. So we're going to add in two of these to try and control it. So we're going to have right arrow and left arrow, and then within those. We obviously want it to turn, turn. So we'll turn right 15 degrees if you hit the right arrow, turn left 15 degrees if you hit the left arrow. So again, let's have a practice, let's see if it works. So turn right, good, I've evaded it. Can I get to the end? Just about, excellent. All right, so have a go at that. Think of other ways that you can improve that. So you can you add variables, so do you get a score when you get to the end? Can you add a new level so when you get to the end um, it goes on to like a new maze or a new map? See where you get with it, let me know how you get on.